Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And I feel like I make these videos almost every morning, like a morning. <laughs> but today we're gonna be talking about what I've been feeding my one-year-old Yorkie now. She just turned one um, on Father's Day, June 21st, 2020. So she's officially one now. And um, what type of food, what brand of food, do I feed her wet food, do I feed her dry food, and how much I feed her. So if you guys are interested in watching this video, stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe to support my channel. I appreciate each and, each and every one of you all. Also, don't forget to comment because I literally respond to almost every single comment. All right, let's get on to the actual video. All right, Evie's over there looking a little sad on the right corner because she's hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna make this video quick. But um, this is the type of food that I feed her. I got puppy food um because she was a puppy i mean she still is a puppy she's one um but the type of food that i feed her is um you got science diet puppy and then you have royal canine cannon puppy food so as you can see i don't know why there's a scoop here my kids are always playing in the food um but what i have here is a one fourth cup I feed her one fourth cup of food twice a day. So one in the morning and one at night, okay? So I literally just scoop it like this and put it in a bowl. And I'll show you a bowl, what I use to feed her and stuff like that. Then I have a one fourth scoop here for her science diet recipe and feed her with this. I, you're probably asking like, why two different brands? How is it with two different brands? Again, Yorkies are very, very picky and they get bored. I swear to goodness, it might just be mine, but they get bored of the food. So I do maybe like one week science diet, one week royal canine, um, and then I'll put some wet food on top. All right, some cases, like if she's like really, really good or if she's extremely bored of the food, I'll put wet food. But what I'm transitioning her into right now is the science diet, small paws, adults right here so small paws one through six um she likes this actually i forgot what what flavor this is chicken meal rice recipe the pellets are exactly like the puppy one and then i am doing the yorkshire terrier adult recipe this is really really good Especially if you don't know what to feed your Yorkie, this is kind of like the go-to. It is a little bit pricey, like for this big bag, I forgot how many pounds is that. I think it's a 15 pound bag, and then this is a 10 pound bag. So for, a fit, for five pounds more, you could get the same price as what you paid for that for five pounds more food. So if you wanna be like more cost effective, I suggest just getting the Hill Science Diet. But I bought this because you know you gotta spoil your little Yorkie here and there and they get bored of their food. So sometimes I feed her um, these pellets. Like I have to mix the food right now because you can't just stop feeding her puppy food and then just transition to the adult. You have to like put half of a fourth what is that then? Like a half of a fourth in here. So literally what I'll do is I'll take this much of her puppy food and then put some pellets inside like this. Let me just show you what I do. Evie waits. I'll do it like this so it can fill the one fourth cup. But obviously like this was filled to the top and it's, it's almost gone and she loves this food. This is like a no brainer. And you can get these containers at Amazon as well. I think I paid like $10 or $15 a container. And it's so cool because if you have a bigger dog, you can like scoop it this way. Um, or you can open it this way, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, this is what keeps the food fresh. All right. I love these containers. Or you can do, you know, go with the bags. There's literally like this super cute clip or the scooper where you can just like put this on the bag. Gotta close it to keep it fresh. You know, you just leave it just like this, which is pretty cool. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you to my kitchen so I can show you like her bowls and stuff. And then this is like one of the wet food brands 
I give Evie like on top if she's like really good. I mean, dogs have sensitive stomachs, but they love this. I'm telling you, they love this food and they love Little Caesars. I don't have any more, but I need to get some. But Little Caesars is her go to. And there's only a few flavors of Little Caesars she'll eat, which is only like turkey recipe, the steak, um, the, the filet mignon, and then. Um, like the ones that don't have the peas or anything inside it, but this one does, but she likes it. But the little Caesars version, she doesn't really care for the the other flavors. My messy kitchen, but what I have here is her bowls that I have to wash, um, and clean, you know, I literally toss this at night so that I can clean it in the morning. Um, her water jug is, looks like this. The only thing I don't like about these is that sometimes like the bottom, like the uh, debris, I should say, falls at the bottom and you have to like really, really clean it good before refilling these. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna wash this real quick, wash her slow feeder and um, I'll be right back. Talk about bowls, 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 bowls. Yorkies have the smallest tummies, but they're greedy and they act like they can eat like a German Shepherd, okay? Um, so what I like to do is use two different bowls here. Um, I know you already kind of like spoke about it. So I have a regular bowl that I feed her in the morning and I do a slow feeder at night to stop her from gulping everything like she does in this bowl. But it's like seven in the morning, so I'm gonna use this bowl like so, and then I'm gonna take that, that food that we already prepped in the beginning of the video and um, toss it inside. Oops, I dropped the chair. I'm gonna uh, take the camera <laughs> so I can show you what I'm doing. Um, so, yep, I got the food right here. Um, so sometimes I just give it to her as is and she'll eat it, all right? But right now I just thawed out some of the leftover wet food and I just dropped like a little bit of the gravy on top, all right? But Evie loves this, so. She's over here hounding me like a crackhead on drugs. Evie, where do you go? Oh, she's supposed to be in her, in her bed. <laughs> she's supposed to be in her bed, but there's no bed right now because I'm washing it. <laughs> Stay. What I do is I pretend to eat it. So she knows I'm alpha. <laughs> and then I leave it here. And then she just waits on my com on my command. Go get. See, and she eats her food. You just want to see her eat her food. So here is her eating her food. Her yumminess. She's not. Um, I mean, she she was picky, but as long as you you know put a little bit of wet food like that gravy on top, she will love it. Or your Yorkie will love it. So we got the mixed puppy food, the adult food, and just a little bit of gravy. Um, if your dog poops wet or like moist, I suggest just giving the wet, the gravy like once a week or like every two days, every other two days or something. Like don't give her wet food every day. Oh gosh, no, because their poop gets wet and it's just like a diarrhea massacre sometimes, you know, but um, yeah, I mean, this works. She's waiting for, you see how quick she ate her food? You see how quick? You see how quick she ate her food? This is why I have a slow feeder. 
she's looking for more and it looks like I, I didn't feed her enough it looks like she could eat more yeah you know she could eat more but we don't want a overweight Yorkie okay because they got small limbs and they won't be able to hold carry their weight <laughs> Okay, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see anything else, let me know. I am more than happy to um, make a video of it. Maybe come here. Good girl. Sit pretty. <laughs> Good girl. And there's dessert. All right, till next time. Bye.